Learn to do new things without my husband. Of, I think that's of, good. Of almost you know, with, with going all on of, 26 years this year. Because you know what? I think that's good, babe. And that's good You've abandoned me. <laughs> Love don't live here anymore. Uh, welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I'm Tab at the Brown. I'm Chance, what's up? You gonna bring the beat in? Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with chance and chance. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with chance. That's what it's gonna be if you keep. You didn't say. If you keep messing with me. You didn't say. If you keep messing with me, that's what it's going to be. You ready 2024, now? 2024. You ready? Out yeah, the door. Man, you, uh, keep it up. You be very, keep it sensitive up. sensitive right now. You ready? Welcome to Friday. You ain't going to bring the beat in. You're not going to. We didn't it. brought it in. You gonna, we didn't did it. You gonna, we didn't brought it look, in with the new year. You're going to mess your people up. You starting out with it. You, this, this is you. You starting out you, the 2024. You man. wanted this. This is what you asked for. <clears throat> what I asked for. This is what you wanted this tag. Tell, tell the people why you mad. This is what you... This tell is, them why you really in a bad mood. Chance does not like that I'm going through <clears throat> menopause. And so... <laughs> because sometimes I want to get it in at about 11.30 a.m. And then by, you know, 12.30, maybe I don't want it. Right? And he don't like the... Up and down the no. valleys and the, what did I the just... mountains in the valley. So he told me to stop altogether. Stop. Just stop. Stop. And so I have stopped. Stop what? And so there I just stop what? You said no. stop being nasty. And, so and, that, now and... I done stopped being nasty. <clears throat> and now I'm a different And then you're a different kind of nasty. And so now this is what you're going to get. This is how you want 2024 to be. This I did a new thing. This is my new book. This is what you're going to get. Now, I'm going to give you you all year long. Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance again. Happy New Year. Man. The New Year is upon us, and that means we are, you know, I guess doing new things, right? Mm -hmm. Chance won't, Chance won't, he be won't, he be won't. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. <laughs> he be, he I didn't say nothing. He be man, really we, wanting, man, we gotta get this. we got to get this year off. Right, come on now. Come on, let's start with a kiss. <laughs> come on. <laughs> 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 See? Woo. Come on, let's start. There you go. You, gave, you didn't really give me that. You gave me that little tight lip. You gave See, me the, all the I gave all you the movie kiss. All, no, you gave me that one that all the married men know. They know what that is. Mm. Jay, why you rubbing your ears? <laughs> what, what, yeah. what's, what's that? What, what, hey, what kiss is that? Mm -hmm. This is going on 26 years. <clears throat> this year, it's 26 years. I know. Year. So listen, we should be, we should be very joyful, very grateful about it. No, mm -hmm. you know, I used to be joyful and grateful, but this year, we can still be joyful I, and grateful. I've done a just new thing, and this is what just got to stop being nasty. Uh-uh. Nasty. <clears throat> no, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Can Christmas I, episode, you was talking about eating cookies. But that was a, that was cookies. a Santa Claus. If you took it that way, that's on you. <laughs> you should probably get your nasty mind out the gutter. I was talking about cookies. That's what you talking about? Yeah. But let me get the show on. I've been... Look. <laughs> I did a new thing. Ooh, this way. So listen, for the new year, most times people be setting new goals. Sometimes people do new resolutions. Uh, you know, I go on a cleanse. People detox. We all do like some type of new thing. Or set, you know, a, a standard for ourselves for the new year, right? I don't necessarily believe, I guess, in like a resolution, like New Year's resolutions. But I do believe in like, oh, maybe I'm going to set some goals to myself this year. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. However, because I did write a new book called I Did a New Thing, I thought this would be a way to encourage you not to really like hold yourself to like, oh, I got to do X, Y, and Z. But to just try to do something new every day or 
you know, once a week, but I did do like 30 days and I um, kind of journaled my own experience and shared it with y'all along with a couple of my, I call them my cousins, who also shared their stories in here of doing a new thing and just talking about how it made you feel. So with that being said, you can still pre-order it now. I'm going to be going on tour at the end of the month. The book comes out January 30th. Okay. Okay. With that being said, uh, husband, when is the last time you did something new? When is the last time I did something new? Yeah, when last time you did something new? Um, I don't remember. Hmm. I really don't. Something new. And it could be something small, like you could wear something you've never wore before. You could go to a place you've never been before. You could, oh, um, you know? um, I played in my first golf tournament. Oh, okay. Does that... Last year? What what was that? Um, NAACP? No. Oh yeah, I did do that one, huh? Yeah. Well that was kinda like But a, you did a um, you did a different one. Yeah, I went on my own and um Oh oh, oh one. the last one here month. last yeah. month. Yeah, I did that one. Okay, so let's talk about um, it. You did your first golf tournament on mm -hmm. your own. Yeah. How did it make you feel? That is a good question. That's the question that everybody is asking me in my circle. I think I have, I think that I have not felt that kind of excitement and uh, joy since I suited up to play ball uh, with the department for the first game uh -huh. after, after joining uh, uh, the police department and after thinking that um, basketball was over for me. I remember, I, that's what I remember, that kind of excitement and joy um, associated with. And I didn't think, I was surprised, I, I didn't think that I would have that in any other sport or doing any other thing. Um, but it was probably the most fun I've had, or in that, in that kind of arena anyway, in about close to 20 years. Yeah? Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> with that, what was the feeling like? What was your actual feeling? It was a, a lot of feelings, mm -hmm. um, anxiety, because uh -huh. uh, I'm just starting out. I'm really not that good. Um, <laughs> um, but even with not being good, I was I was excited. I just it was almost like uh, that first day of school or waking it up, waking up for Christmas, you mm -hmm. know. You, you remember when I was up? I'm, I mean, yeah. I had oh, to I be know. there. My, yeah. my, my, my start time. Early. My start time had was. Had his clothes laid out the night yeah, before. Like laid all my stuff. I ain't had yeah. that kind of, you know, uh, feeling in a long time. But I had a range of emotions. And, and even halfway through it, I was like, with my anxiety, it, it kind of went away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just pleasantly surprised at. The I thought, you know, maybe I'll get there and it'll, you know, this feeling that go away. I'm going to see it ain't, you know, it's going to be some elements that present itself that's going to take this joy away. But from start to finish, I was like a kid, just like yeah. a big kid, excited to get to the next hole. Um, you know, just excited to meet new people and and just, you know, and learning on, on each on each encounter, you know, something different. But. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So what was your takeaway? Like, did you, when you finished, what was your takeaway? Did it make you feel like, okay, that was good. I don't need to do that again. Or did it make you feel like, dang, I really accomplished something. I want to get better. I want to do it more. Or what was your takeaway? Because the whole point of doing something you've never done before is to reflect on once you completed it, how it made you feel and what you may, you know, learn from it or want to do from it, you know, moving forward. All of the above. Mm -hmm. um, what I took from it is that there is a, um, if you have an open mind, that feeling can, you can find that, that, new, that new thing that you are, you can fall in love with something else. Basketball has been my only thing my entire life. But afterwards I have, I have a new, I have a new love for it to the point where I, I haven't played ball. I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not playing ball. I'm now chasing the opportunity to go golf. Um, and it's, and 
less than a physical thing and more of a mental thing um, that, I, that I'm taking from it, which has been great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, very good. So what new thing do you see yourself maybe trying? This year, As I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm considering joining a golf club. Oh, um, <clears throat> yeah, like a country club, or you mean like a club where so, y'all like? So that's a team. yeah. So all right, man, you know your stuff, huh? okay? So yeah, that's two. Both of those things is what I'm considering. So I, I literally just reached out to have somebody give me some uh, some feedback on joining an actual country club, right? Mm -hmm. um, just so I can get a better understanding of what comes with it. And then I've been talking to some of my golf buddies about us starting our own club. Uh -huh. Which before I would have been looking at that like, man, that's lame, man. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> I'm serious. You like before, got grown. I, but now I'm looking at it like, nah, man. I want a let's golf do, club. Like, yeah, I want to be a part of the golf club. Man, I like this. Is the wives is a <clears throat> part of it? If you want to be. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, if you want to be. Because for your birthday, you said I couldn't come to the golf course. Oh, you got it. No, I'm just saying, because I just said, no, nah, we focus. We got to be able to play on the people you, really you, know how. Do you, you want to come out there and, and be a distraction? No, but I want to come and drive around. Tell them what else you want to do. What did you do when I played in the celebrity thing? I drove the golf cart. <laughs> what did you tell them? I got the food. I videoed. How many holes did you hang out with me? Almost all of them. I was just driving the golf cart. I drove the Did you not get lost for me and somebody had to come track well, me? That was later on I did get lost because <laughs> I got couldn't lost find you. I went to go use the bathroom. And stayed and gone. I, Look. Well, I couldn't find it. It's a lot of, it's a lot of holes. It was like yeah. 40 holes out there. How it, many was it? 18. It was, that, it was a bunch, but it was, it was big. I, I didn't know where I was I, at. I, I, Tab I had never been me. before. Look, Tab hung out with me for the first two, three holes. No, it was like, the, it was like hole eight when I got lost. It was hole three. And then no, I, no, no. When I got lost, I got it on video. It was, yeah, about it, whole, it was about whole eight. It was whole three. And Tab, you caught back up to me at whole 16 when you No, walked. babe, you're exaggerating. <clears throat> I, I, I found out you footage. up there taking pictures. Well, and, that's because and, it was and, a party also happening at the golf uh, club. And got you a drink? It was a you party. <laughs> <laughs> it was the NAACP. What you want me to do? Tell the truth. That's all I want you to do. We tell them the truth. But it wasn't you hole said, three. It was about hole eight. I got the footage. Tab, we can play you the was footage, babe. Me till hole babe, I was. But you were focused. But, okay. Remember, I had left, and I said, "Well, babe, they got food up here." I came back. I was like, oh, "But anyway, on the golf course." My new thing is a great thing, and yes, you're welcome to come. You just can't come when we seriously playing, like when we playing, playing. But it's don't you need golf. somebody to be your caddy? No, 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 no. No, that's only for. I can be your caddy. I can no, be no, your no. tabby. No, when you do the nope, see there, there it is. <laughs> the, the tabby instead I, of the. No, I don't need it. Man, that's a business. No. I can charge all your I friends. I don't. Five dollars. They dollars. don't want it. The commentary. <laughs> they don't want all of it. No, I'm talking about. I can drive the golf Tab, court. You are, no, you you're not able to do this and be quiet. Why you gotta be quiet? Cause golf. It's a sport. Ain't nobody cheering. No, ain't no cheering in golf. No, no, hey, no. That's the no. That's the yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Who said you gotta be quiet? Where the rule book at? Well, what if I am quiet out there? You ain't gonna be quiet. I, I can be quiet. You were sitting in the cart, babe, right when I was swinging, talking about go, babe. <laughs> I was trying to encourage you. I, I, it ain't that kind of sport. <laughs> it ain't that kind of sport. I bet I won't encourage you no more. Do you? No, I need the encouragement. I just need you, if you come, I got to teach you the etiquette. And. Go, babe. No, no, no. Just. Hey. Just, just. I just, see you. Just, this how you like do that? it. Like Look, just ask me how I did. Hey, but how you do And just send me on my way with a smile, mm -hmm. make sure I got some food. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah, I, I did do that, though. Yeah, I want to yeah, got yeah. drinks and food for you. Mm-hmm. Now the truth coming out. You went and got it. I did. I brought it back to you. Yeah, and yeah. I said, babe, over here, if we drive babe, over here, we can stop babe, right here. we're losing focus. That's my new thing, golf. So a golf club. Yeah, gonna that's what I'm Join a country about. club or <clears throat> a golf club Yeah, that's with what you I'm guys. Yeah. And we all dress, dress the part? Yeah. Because you, you be out nice. here. You got to look nice. When Chance you be going nice. to the golf course with Jordan's on. Yeah. They Jordan golf shoes, stuff. Yeah. Love Jordan. Them. Love them. Call them. I love them. We, we'll take some free golf stuff, okay? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, yeah send Excuse it all. me. 
It's in every last bit of it. Well, you know, for the new year for me, I would like to do something new. What is that? And... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Why did everybody in <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on, honey? Uh, I, I was clearing my throat back and you know, I got this cold. But what's the new thing you wanna do? I don't like I don't like what's happening here. <laughs> what is it? I would well I was gonna say I would like to be your caddy. Oh, okay. And drive the golf course. Um, and maybe show you a new golf course Where? in Africa. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to Africa. All right, this year. Yeah. Cause, cause, I, listen, for the record, and anybody who has been a a fan, right? You've been a real fan. This in, for the year of 2023, I said on numerous occasions. I'm okay with going to Africa. We can go to Africa. I am not going on the safari. If we can agree to that, we Babe, can go to Africa. That's the whole reason I want to go. Africa. You want to go to Africa for your birthday? I'm going to be on tour, <clears throat> but after the tour. You want to go for our that's what uh, I wanna go. anniversary? We can go for our anniversary. We go to Africa. I am not. Going on the safari. We can go to Africa. You want to go to Africa? We go to Africa. So you're going to make me go on the safari by I'm myself? I'm not making you go. See, that's the day. There we go. There you go. I'm not making you go. So the new go. thing that I'm probably going to do is maybe do a girl's trip, because I've never done a girl's trip to Africa. Man, that's cool. And I, me and my girlfriends, and, and, and also Nick, will go to Africa on the safari. That right there. That's the bad. I'm going to support you in that. But how you need me to support you? What? That's it. So, so anywho. I imagine it be you, Katara, uh, Nick, what, but Zaynab? JR, are you laughing? My, what's, what's funny, JR? Yeah, it's going to be my friends. Who love and support me and my oh, man, I safari love you. and I love and desires. Them. I love and support them for, for that too. Because man, it's not just one of been your one of your lifelong dreams. I actually might take my son with me. Because I don't want him to grow up and be like you. Why? I want him his mind to be open to experiencing new things in life. I want him to do some new things and I'm okay. you know, I, I'm not, ready. I'm ready to to experience some new things. I'm not getting in that little white Jeep where them lions is jumping up in there. They're not going to do that. I ain't getting up there being chased by no elephant and the <laughs> hyenas and all that. I don't want to see. Babe, who said Remember? that they was going to chase you, babe? I seen it on Instagram. Fear I is seen the video. false <clears throat> evidence appearing real. That's what's, what's happening right now. You've made something up in your head that is not make true. This, I've seen this. I sent it to you the other day. Babe, said, babe, look at this. Babe. That lion got right up. It didn't eat the people, but it got up in there and just like laid on but the But that's people. why I want you to understand. I don't even, the new thing I mm. want to do is not, not even like get in one of those Jeeps. We don't I'm walk like, out there. <laughs> You ain't no, been remember I sent you, you one. You ain't been paying attention to me in all these years. Babe, I sent you not, a different one where it's like they're friendly because they uh, live in a protected area in Africa, mm -hmm. in t Tanzania. There's no such thing as a friendly lion. Have you not seen The Wizard of Oz? There's no such thing as a friendly lion. There might be a such thing as a, as a fool lion. A what? Fool. He, he's fool. He don't need to eat you. He already ate something else. I'm not, no, ain't happening. <clears throat> ain't no such thing. <clears throat> so this is the new year, folks. Um, 2024, my birthday is 2-4. February 4, 24. So it's 2-4, two, 2-4. Four, two, four. Four. It's that's a very nice. special yeah. birthday, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so, you know. I'm going to have to just, you know, venture out on my own and learn, learn to do you things. Learn to do new things without my husband. Of, I think that's of, good. Of almost you know, with, with going all on 26 years this year. Because, you know what, I think that's good, babe. And that's good You've abandoned me. 
Love don't live here anymore. Well, listen, you know what people... Just a vacancy. It's, it's you know, a healthy Love relationship requires for uh, a man and a wife to be able to explore some things. That leads to longevity. You know, y'all got to have your things. Like, I got my golf tab, got Africa. It's healthy. You have certain things you can talk about. That you know they got think? golf courses in Africa. I will go and Probably play. buy a safari. Then I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going to be on hole nine and an elephant or a lion pop out. <clears throat> Ain't going to happen. If it's by the safari, <laughs> I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Y'all stay tuned for this year to see what new <clears throat> thing we do. Anywho, in the book, let's talk about it. So in the book, I talk about doing new things for 30 days. They could be big, they could be small, honey. It could be uh, something that you wouldn't even think that may change how you feel. So even in here, there was a moment for my birthday, uh, last year actually, when I was writing this, I decided to wear a dress that was more fitted because I usually wear very loose clothes. And I decided to wear a dress that was more fitted and I realized when I wore the dress, uh, a lot of people kept like, say, ooh, good. okay, Tab, body, we didn't know you had all this going on. And I realized, ooh, that's why I didn't like wearing like fitted stuff. And so then I had to like unpack the thought of like, why, why is that? And so what I realized is, you know, when I went vegan, I was a certain weight, right? I had came off of like my, the conditioning of, always trying to be like a certain size, like a size three or four, like being small, you know, in Hollywood. And I had allowed myself to like gain weight and stuff and not feel that pressure anymore, right? And when the pandemic happened, I ended up gaining a lot of weight, right? Like most of us, a lot of us gained, you know, I think I probably gained like a good 17 pounds or something like that. And I didn't really realize it, but I did realize it. You know how you realize it, but you, when you try to put on some clothes and you're like, oh, this, this don't fit. But I realized wearing looser clothes made me just feel better about it. Maybe I didn't have to acknowledge it so much, but wearing that dress that was more fitted and people drawing, like, you know, bringing it to my attention, like, oh, I ain't know you had all this, you know, hips and thighs and all the things. I was like, ah, uh, I'm actually, I was uncomfortable with the new weight of my body in clothing. And it, it was almost a, like a trigger to me. And I had to like kind of unpack that and, and realize like, oh, wait a minute, girl, there's still some work that needs to be done there. Cause you know, I spent very, shoot, so many years, a very long time of, you know, not treating myself well, you know, with, you know, some days pretty much starving myself, some days, you know, going on crazy diets, taking all kinds of medication to lose weight and uh, just doing a lot of things, trying to fit into this equation of Hollywood that I thought I had to be and literally wearing this one dress and the dress wasn't even that tight but it was out of my normal it opened this you know my eyes up to look at myself you know even more and so sometimes wearing a new dress in a style that you you know may not normally wear will open up something inside of you even from doing your hair a different way right even wearing a new lipstick uh Maybe wearing sneakers with your dress, right? Or with your suit where you usually wear high heels or your dress shoes. What they call the dress shoes for me? Slick bottoms or hard bottoms hard or whatever. Bottoms. Maybe you wear sneakers with your suit. See how I make you feel. Just little things that may make a big difference or may make you think, you know, uh, open your mind up. So these are the type of things that are in this book. And I hope that all of you go on the journey with me. And, uh, you know, maybe take 30 days and say, you know what, every day for 30 days, I'm going to try something new. One new thing, just one. It could be a new food. It could be a new piece of fruit you've never tried. Uh, maybe you've never been to a play before, right? Maybe you go to a play for the first time. Maybe you go to the park and set up a blanket and have a picnic for the first time. Maybe you go on a day date, you know, with your husband or your wife or your partner for the very first time, you know. Uh, I think it also gives us a moment to explore our mind, right? And, and really see like, what can I think of? What new thing can I think of? Because for so long, I think that a lot of us get stuck in routine and we do the same thing every day, every day in it's routine. And it's not necessarily unhealthy, 
but it can get to an unhealthy place, right? Uh, you can not feel well and not know why. It's because you haven't given your mind something new to, to be exercised on. Like your, your mind is just stagnant. So when you try new things, you open your mind, you stretch it to a place it's never been before, uh, and then it never returns back to that, you know, to the norm. And then I feel, for me, I feel hungry for new things all the time, like I'm always willing to try something new. So that's what I wanted to share with y'all. I hope that y'all love the book. I hope that I see all of y'all on tour. January 30th, the book comes out, but you can pre-order now. You can still pre-order now. There are signed copies and um, VIP meet and greets in some cities I've never been before, which is also a, a new thing for me. And I'm going to be on tour for my birthday. I'm going to be on tour for my birthday, honey. So, you know, he got off the hook. He ain't got to take me to Africa, honey, because I'm going to be on tour for my birthday. And I'd much rather be on tour with y'all anywho. So, honey, very good. I was telling people about the tour because we talked about doing new things What together. was the movie that you said, you said if it was named after, we did an episode where we said if it was a movie and it was named after me, what would it be called? What was it, Tiff? No, I ain't doing that. Nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. That's the name of the movie of 2024. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing that. Nah, I ain't that's, doing that. By uh, starring Chance Brown. I ain't doing that. And the sequel is, I ain't, I doing, ain't doing that, that either. either. Yep. Which is why it's so important that I get my son while I can, because he's going to mess around and try to grow up and be like you and not do nothing new. And, you know. Part three would be, I ain't doing that, but I'll do that. <laughs> and you forgetting uh. about part three. That's called compromise. Anywho. That's what you do in a marriage. You compromise. But see, you trying to push. This is how people, this is how people end up in bad relationships. And, and you get, you know, divorces and you get people who out here, they, you, they don't have, you don't realize when they com I'm compromising. But we can go to Africa. Now, you got to meet me halfway. That's what this is. I be compromising a lot. <clears throat> My hip, you know, my hip had been having a problem with my hip. <clears throat> but I still be using it. I got a new book <laughs> <laughs> called I Did a New Thing in stores January 30th. Pre order now. See y'all on the road. I'm going to new cities I've never been to before. I'm so excited to come to Alabama, to Mississippi, honey. We about to have a good time. Click the link on my website, I am Tabitha Is the book international? Is for the tour. Not yet, but hopefully oh. soon. But oh you know God. when it will be in Africa? When I take it over there and I have it in my hand while I'm, you know, out there on the safari. You're going to wish you had a cane with me back. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying you're going to wish that you had been there with me. We love y'all. You got anything else you want to say to the people? See how this thing had to start right back the same way we had to end it. We ended it back how it started. I don't know. I don't even know why it started the way it did and why you been out. I don't know. But, whew. Y'all pray for my strength in 2024 and for Chance. Pray for him. Um, would you want to tell the people anything else? But we didn't even get to, we really didn't even get to tell y'all. Um, it's a new year. Maybe you don't want a resolution. Maybe you don't have any goals. Maybe, maybe you're just trying to get by. Maybe you don't want to go to Africa. Maybe you're in a relationship that is trying to turn your hair gray, okay? You know, well, maybe it's been 26 long years. And it's time to get away. To you Africa. take you a trip with your friend. Honey, leave that husband or that wife at home that don't want to do nothing, okay? You leave them at home, and they'll be there when you get back. They'll probably be golfing. Both of y'all can come back and... You Good can do spirits. 
you, this is the year to choose you a little bit more and the things that you desire and love. Mm. Okay? And sometimes we got to be willing to do those things on our own. When I first went vegan, we did a 30-day challenge together. After the 30 days, Chan said, all right, babe, I'm done. I said, ooh, babe, this could be my life I'm going on. And he said, I'm going to eat this chicken. And I went on to continue my vegan journey. And look at us. And whole life changed. Then look at us. The Lord blessed me in such an amazing way. Because oh, I chose that. to do something new. <laughs> and look at us. And for whatever reason, he told me I had to have this one right here, too. Look at this. Maybe a new thing might change your life for the better. Y'all be encouraged out there. Here, it's Happy New Year, 2024. Bring the beat in. See y'all in Africa. Y'all going about y'all business. Have the most Friday amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, well, don't you, don't you dare go messing, messing up nobody else's here. We'll see y'all next Friday. time. Or not. Very good. Thank y'all for watching. And don't forget to click here for more episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Very good. <laughs>